Ring the motherfucking alarm, baby. It's your Captain Laurel motherfucking speaking in this bitch. We're going to do an 11-11 read in this motherfucker. So, while you're here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, please. We're going to see what gates are being opened up in these streets. <laughs> Let's see what's going down. It is 11-11. This is my favorite number. I'm a master number 11. Maybe some of you guys could be master number 11s as well too. But we're going to find out what's going down and just the overall messages that people need to know about and the portals that they're getting ready to open up in this motherfucker. Baby, try not to cough, okay? Okay, here we go. So, spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my gods, baby. Yes. Let's see what's going down. We are getting ready to open up some major doors for the day and for the rest of the motherfucking year. I know some of you guys are anticipating what's happening in the new year or what's to come. There is a lot of things that you will be releasing up in this motherfucker. So, let's see what's going down for the 1111. It's your captain speaking. <laughs> let's see what's going to be in navigation for this portal that's opening up. We have read, forgive. All right now, and Lioness, you've earned your motherfucking stripes up in this bitch. So I knew I'd see some sort of ocean life or aquatic life is what I'm getting here for some of you all. Um, all together, this is you transitioning into forgiving old dust that has settled for far too fucking long. Um, this is also you coming to an understanding of who you are, where you're going, and what's to come. I feel a lot of you guys have earned a lot. You have a lot of patience here since you've earned those strides. Okay. So, I think I talked about that in the video the other day. This could be stretch marks. Okay. Somebody just could be having a whole bunch of information or some wisdom that's come to them. This is what earning your stripes is all about. You done read about it, seen about it, felt it. You done also experienced the motherfucker. Okay. This bitch is over here reading fairy tales. I'm getting some of you guys are thinking about getting your bodies right too as well or some sort of physical shape. Now this bitch is in the bathtub. Some of y'all might need to take some spiritual baths. Okay. This could be putting some... Uh, some roses. This bitch got apples in her bag. I don't know what she's doing, but um, apples mean that there's a lot of knowledge as well, too. So, I feel like she's trying to put herself in this place of finding knowledge, but also letting go of the motherfucking past. Trying not to let things overgrow or, uh, you know, get out of hand. But she's got her window open, so the bitch is trying to breathe. I'm getting that for a lot of you guys. You're wanting to have this freedom. Or there is a freedom that's coming towards you. Let's see what's popping in this motherfucker. I'm going to get two more cards and then we're going to see what the cards have to say. Some of you guys have gained a lot of experience. And it's saying <clears throat> because you've went through those phases and cycles that you're seeing the better of yourself you have villain you can always rewrite the story so somebody is definitely villainizing you villainizing you uh it also could be that some of you guys just have to find this sound concrete um stable type of energy in order for you to feel as though you're accomplishing something or getting out there and doing some shit but you can always rewrite your story. You can always pull your own uh, strings, honey. I'm getting some of you guys could be feeling like you got to do some evil things. But it's saying you can rewrite it. 
if you want to. That's it. You want to. You also have bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. All right. So I'm seeing with this 1111, this is whatever cycles and phases that you have been through, honey. You about to stand up for yourself. You about to forgive the past. I'm also seeing whatever could have stunted some of your growth. A lot of you guys are moving forward. So, you know, I'm seeing a lot of differences between good and evil. Being able to have discernment and being able to utilize your resources, your power. Let's see what the cards have to say, baby. We got the world energy up in this motherfucker. So, like I said, something is either open up or closing out. Could be some traveling. Accomplishment, some sort of desire that you're getting ready to pursue. World energy is also navigation as well. Okay, so you're using a compass, could be maps. Ow, very first card out. So I'm getting that as you're shifting through your mind, some of you guys are wanting to discover what else is out there setting in your accomplishments or closing those phases and cycles i'm seeing moon energy here as well too behind that some of you guys could be dealing with fixed signs this could be a leo taurus scorpio could be aquarian energy as well ten of cups here coming out so listen some of you guys are uh, pointing yourself in the right direction of which way you're getting ready to go. You got some real training lessons is what I'm seeing here that you're going to have to go through with this world energy. But you're definitely doing it with a lot of resilience. Ten of Cups indicates that there's some happiness or somebody is wanting to see somewhere above the motherfucking rainbow in this bitch. Okay, some of you guys could be seeing rainbows. But I'm getting with these cups in the air, you're putting a lot of your emotions into the universe. You got two bitches here. Somebody's sewing and playing with cats and helping her do some shit. Also could be a household. <laughs> also could be a household. So I'm seeing that some of you guys are makers or this could be uh, homemakers for some of you guys. Uh, but definitely setting in the tone when you're opening up this portal some of you guys really 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 are letting go of a lot of past discrepancies but there could be a battle that you're getting ready to face queen of swords also five of wands so all together i'm getting that some of you guys are in this mode of cutting things off you're wanting that strict Real talk as energy. If it's not going to be a relationship or if the contract is not befitting to you or befitting um, to the overall energies together, I feel if it's going to be unfair, you cutting that shit the fuck out. Straight up. We got two tens here. Ten of pentacles. Ten of cups. High priestess. And the moon in reverse. So I'm getting that a lot of you guys could have been going back and forth in your head about how you're going to make some money, how you're going to, um, you know, keep your finances and also being able to keep with the ways of the motherfucking world. I see with the high priestess energy here, there's some sort of thought or idea that's going to be revealed to you. There's some truth here that some of you guys have been studying, watching. Okay, I'm also seeing that there could be some sort of um, like mental things that are going on. It could be you analyzing your mental health. Or just altogether the state of your psyche. High priestess here. So some of you guys are doing that research is picking up is what I'm getting here. Now, if there's some ideas that you're getting ready to discover, there is somebody who's making this breakthrough. You got the Knight of Swords, also the Tower energy. 
So there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, also Scorpion energy with this tower that's making some breakthroughs or there's going to be some major changes. Now, the Knight of Swords could go either way. This motherfucker could be angry. He could be directing his anger towards um, someone or wanting to figure out where he's going to be at peace. But I'm also getting with this tower energy here. There's definitely some changes. Chariots. So there could be... Uh, Cansetti in here. I'm getting a lot of major arcanas. Ace of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with um, people who you blocked out. I'm getting some of you guys are wanting to bring in some new communication. This could be... Uh, I feel like somebody is, is coming towards you. You need to brace your motherfucking self. Because whoever this person is, it could be because there's some something financially wrong or they definitely have some plans that they're not making on time. You got the devil energy here and also the eight of wands. So these portals that are getting ready to open up is opening up the direct lines of communication. I also feel like it's letting go of a lot of toxic energy, but there's somebody who's wanting to come in. It's like they're kind of disruptive. You're going to know who the fuck this is. I'm also seeing somebody getting children together or teaching or gathering children. You got the fool and the king of swords. So mentally, I feel there's somebody who's closed off. They might need to express themselves or these are the portals that are getting ready to pop open for the motherfucker to express themselves with the knight of swords here. I feel some of y'all could be dealing with a real uh, mentally conflicted, dusty this full energy uh, is definitely here. So somebody could be making some quick ass moves, some shit you didn't expect, something that could be coming out of nowhere with this on top of the tower, the fool. I'm getting that somebody is juggling up in this motherfucker, all right? Um, so be careful. Could be something that happens all of a sudden. Let's clarify this fool. Knight of Pentacles. So definitely could be financial, uh, some financial issues or someone you feel is not being loyal. You feel like they could just jump and do some sort of pop-ups at any motherfucking moment for some of you guys. And I feel like you're preparing yourself for that. For whatever pop-ups, surprises, because that's what happens when you're in 11. Shit just happens. You got to deal with the shit or you got to figure out if you gonna how you're going to cope with that shit. Let's see about love. What do they need to know about in love for 11-11? What do they need to know about in love? What's going down in the atmosphere? Very first card is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So embrace what's getting ready to happen, honey. Somebody's either smelling a coochie or smelling a dick or something, smelling a rose, smelling a booty, something. Because this bitch is enjoying her moment. Yes, for the gods. I feel some of you guys need to express yourself in a way. Um, some of you guys might need to have certain gestures that you need to put out there. Or this could be your person as well, too. They need to extend themselves and tell a motherfucker how they feel. Because you do have new love up in this bitch and reconciliation. So you got two different things that's popping off here. Either you dealing with the same old, same old, or you dealing with the same old... The same old, old uh, ex, okay, from Ghost of Christmas Past. According to Wikipedia, the Ghost look, of Christmas Past look. the Spirit of Christmas Past is a fictional character in the 1843... Speak for me, bitch. By the English okay. Tell it, Google Alicia. Y'all hear up. Y'all hear up. Y'all see how that does? Okay, but reconciliation, new love. This could be somebody from the past. 
could be somebody new as well too but you also could be taking care of yourself self love is the best motherfucking love can't nobody love you if you don't love yourself first okay but you have a reconciliation coming up so some of you guys might be having somebody that is wanting to present themselves to you it could be that there is um somebody who wants a chance okay or giving somebody wants a, a a truce but love yourself first before you make these decisions somebody is needing to get some sex too as well so let's see what the cards have to say in love like i said with the in, from the beginning with the red forgive Somebody might be trying to forgive. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here with the King of Cups. Very first card as I'm splitting the deck. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Could be also a Sagittarius. Two of Wands here. Seven of Cups in reverse. And Six of Cups in reverse somebody from your past feels like they want to start some shit over they've made a decision now this could be with the knight of swords here like i said before somebody who's you know kind of angry they need to figure out what they're thinking what they're wanting to do five of swords yeah so somebody is all up in their head they didn't get that chance and I feel like they're getting ready to try to come through. Like I said, Leo Sagittarius, Eddie's and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in this motherfucker. Okay, some of you guys, they see how independent and how wise that you've grown. This could be someone older you might be dealing with. But with the Nine of Pentacles is saying that somebody is definitely attracted to your independence. Double energy of and ace of pentacles well damn i feel some of you guys someone uh, you feel could be after your money the devil also could be codependency as well ace of ace of pentacles this could be someone who's codependent on finances as well but i feel like some of you guys have a major offer that's coming in and this could be through love yeah ten of cups well, damn, once again. So, somewhere over the motherfucking rainbow, somebody's got a fancy little stash um, of energy of where they're wanting to come towards you. This person is definitely excited with this devil energy here, but I feel like it's a lot of codependency and temptation that's surrounding this. Now, with the devil, this also could mean some of you guys need to think about the intake of what you bring it into your bodies as well too or bring it into your aura and environment but i'm going in this motherfucker right here with this ace of pentacles being the very last card and clarifying that is the ten of cups so i see happiness coming up in the future i know that this sounds like daisies and lollipops and raindrops and shit but it's definitely a to your ass how you want to navigate okay all right guys i love you all oh so much i'm gonna get on out of here if you need to get a personal reading from me you already know what to do and i will see you guys in the next video peace